Okay, hello to this uh, new format on my channel, which is going to be a talk podcast called Fair Enough Podcast. And for this first episode, I brought also a co-host who can introduce himself, I think. Yeah, I can introduce myself. Yeah, just, I mean, on the channel, it might come up as Thought, because that's my previous channel name, but you can just call me Ryan. That is fine. My first name is absolutely fine. Thank you. And I'm the Pro Rambling Ninja, or PWLPC. For this, uh, PW is absolutely fine to use. And for the for this first podcast, we thought, like, we're going to talk about something more personal, close to us, before we invite other guests or something like that. And, yeah, if you might recall, I uploaded five years ago a video about a project that Ryan and I were involved in, and we're going to talk about that. Yeah, go for it. Where do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, so it started back in college 2016, or 2015, when I got introduced to a certain fellow named M. For the rest of the podcast, we're going to refer to him as M. But those who know, know who it is. And he was a really nice fellow, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, as I I'd, say, I'd already known him from uh, high school. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was all right. You knew him longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, he was a little bit wild, but he, yeah, he meant well. He was all right. Yeah, and I knew him through college because he helped me out with a lot of stuff. And he was a real people's person. And we had a very strong bond, you know. And he was like, I have this project. Uh, do you want to be part of this project and meet some fellow creative minds? And I was like, yeah. I'm absolutely in, and that's how this whole thing came ha to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I don't remember when me and you first met. I, I remember it being at my house because we had one of the creative meetings at my class. I thought it would just be easier for us to have a base where we can always meet up. Um, I know one of the bases was the local theatre, um, but I remember the first time we actually met was at my house. I can't remember how long it was for. And yeah. I mean, I your house was pretty cool. Well, because... yeah, my, my room is not attached to the house. It's kind of like a little cabin in the garden, isn't it? So we had our own space. Um, we had the laptops out, my computer. Um, so, yeah, we could we could really get into the creative juices of what it was that we were going yeah. through. Yeah, while um, my room was basically... <laughs> I lived at my father at that point, so... And my... A uh, room was not much bigger than a wardrobe, so couldn't really talk in there <laughs> or do anything in there. And M's personal home was also in the, not an ideal situation because he had some personal troubles that I want that I don't want to share light on because I don't know the full situation. Yeah. So we always met up at Ryan's place. Yeah, all all the theatre because I know we ended up meeting at the theatre quite a few times because we just didn't get anything done at mine. We just didn't get anything done. Uh, I think we were too busy. I think <laughs> at one time I can't remember if it was that time or the time after that where we had a session at mine where it ended up turning from was doing any work to um, creating a rap on the, my laptop <laughs> and he had some background music and he decided to start. A freestyle rap. <laughs> at Eleven o'clock at night, and it just, that might be very true. <laughs> it just wasn't any good. It was awful. I just, I, <laughs> but yeah, it was. We didn't get any work done, so we had to meet at the local theater. Um, yeah, and there were other times we were just building stuff in Minecraft on your Xbox. I remember, so we didn't really work at your place. <laughs> When we met, uh, but yeah, you're right. We had this theater where we always met up and and talked like in the outside. And there was also this one moment where we had a German version of Game of Thrones, and 
you both wanted to read it. And I was laughing my ass off because you couldn't read the I remember that. Letters and stuff like that. I remember that now, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, God. I was I was so determined to read at least one sentence, and none of well, I think I think we managed to pronounce some of the words. Um, yeah, I don't think we got th- through a full sentence. I, M definitely didn't. He really didn't. Um, but it was funny. It was funny letting him try. It really, it really was. Yeah, and that, uh, and I think that's from the earlier times because yeah, early on it, it was quite great of a working experience you know gathering ideas and sharing it with each other each other and inspire each other you know that kind of experience was fucking and beautiful great project starts off really enthusiastic and positive until you yeah. get into the point where right something really needs to be done now like we've we've been working on it for a while and nothing's been done i mean how old were we at the time i would have been about 16 16, yeah, 17. and I was seventeen. Yeah, close 17. to eighteen or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. similar to my age. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm what? I'm what? Twenty three now. It's just. It's awful. That is awful. That makes it sound so long ago, though. Yeah. You posted that video, what, five years ago? Yeah, five years ago. And but, like, I was 16 at the time, because of 2015. So that makes it sound like it was seven years ago that we actually... <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? Yeah. It was actually seven years ago, but I think you posted that video five years ago. Yeah, that would make sense, though, wouldn't it? Because we ended up having a massive gap on the work. Yeah. So we end, we end up having all that joyous, oh, yeah, let's meet up at my house. Let's do work at the local theatre. I think we ended up coming up with a pretty good basis um, and baseline story um, for what we were doing for the project. But no yeah. substance really came into play. And then I think we reconvened on the project two years later um, after being like, has anyone done anything yet? Are you yeah. gonna, are we going to have a meeting? Are we going to do this? Because we had a proper schedule. We had a schedule, yeah. uh, um, right, we're going to meet up this day, we're going to do this much work at this time. But it never got stuck to. And it was never me or you. Yeah, I, re- <laughs> I remember that. We had a proper schedule and everything, yeah. and we are brought in practically as creative minds and yeah. creative writers to write out the stories. We didn't write scripts because I was absolutely terrible. Still am terrible oh, that, at not, writing scripts. That's not true. That's not why we didn't write the scripts. Yeah, but it's one of the reasons, you know. Yeah, so. but it's the lesser reason. The main reason was because M wouldn't let us. Yeah. He, he wanted he, to do all the scripts and stuff like yeah, that. Absolutely not. No one else is writing the script but him. That was why we couldn't do it. And no work got done because we were waiting on scripts to get produced, and they never did. Um, the, the, the funny thing is, I'm also part of like a movies and filmmaking discord server and i showed them because you can show there your own scripts and i showed them the script of m and they absolutely tore it apart you know did he he do one no 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 Uh, he had he had a script for my show oh oh for for a short film of mine you know our project no 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 not be, uh, eventually, I became so depressed working on <laughs> Tempus Flux that I created another show, you know, to cope with my depression and everything. Yeah. And I wanted to get him to work on it. And he wrote like a script for a short film for that project. And and anyway, I showed that the uh, this Discord channel, and they absolutely tore it apart. Like it was not, even worse than the script that I had written, you know. Is is not good at dialogue. Now action scenes, he's good at that. He's yeah. good at producing action scenes. We did we we filmed um a short action sequence with 
another one of his friends um i can't remember what his name was now i've not i only spoke to him for that project and he said do you want to get involved and i was like yeah okay let's do something because i'm bored um and we went to this kind of like it, it I, can't, I don't know whether it was a pre-built car park that was being knocked down or whether it was a car park that was being built up from scratch. Um, it was one of them. Either way, it was a construction site and, it, and the building wasn't complete. Um, and we climbed up onto, I think it was the second floor, and we filmed there and the setting was great. Um, he brought other clothes to wear um, that he wanted the character to wear, which really made mm. no sense because... There was no storyline to it. It was literally just an action sequence. And mm. like, it really didn't make a difference. Um, he also made some DIY weapon, um, which was supposed to have some sort of special effects in it, which didn't happen. It was just a random weapon. Um, we did a full action sequence. And it, it, to be fair, the, the, it did look good. Yeah. Um, however, there, was no, there wasn't really any dialogue. And most of the uh, best bits came from the other actor that i was working with um because he was brilliant he was really good um yeah i remember he had, in the time that i was still talking with him he had a lot of successful gigs you know mm -hmm. filming uh filming people's stuff and video editing and yeah. stuff like that and doing music videos yep he was he, he, he was much better as a cameraman than a director yeah he, his camera work was brilliant and I think he actually got into some editing as well, which turned out quite nicely when uh, he, he showed me like a preview of all of his work. And I thought, you know, that's good. But directing things, telling people where to go, what to do, um, creating scripts. No, 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 no. It, that's just not his forte at all. He was better yeah. off than somebody else who's more liter li um, literacy inclined. What are they? Um, writing inclined, let's say that. Someone who's To be fair, we have we both were also very stubborn in our, in our creative vision because I remember I was during the last kind of period working on a project. I was in a phone call with you two and basically you diminished all of my creative input Me. and I got really angry and, and cursed a lot. And Me. my sister was, you both, you know, and my sister was like, talk nicer, you know, and I and I was like, they, uh, you don't know their situation. They're my friends. They understand, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I talk like that. Yeah, so I think I something briefly about that because we ended up having a conversation after it because I ended up saying to, um, afterwards and I ended up saying like, if he's going to be on the project, there needs to be something that he's contributed because at the moment there's nothing that's been used that's come from him because it doesn't work. Yeah, um, I remember that conversation because. <clears throat> we were talking about like who's going to get what rights for what particular part of the story because obviously we'd all had the conversation and said well you're he was taking the rights for the actual show however you'd introduced the character that we used um which is kind of like a well, I, think, I think we came up with a universe crossover before anybody yeah. else came up with it um because you had your own universe of characters and we uh, used one of your characters from your universe and, and kind of passed it over into the project that we we're working on and um, yeah and i remember that being like the sole input the storyline that came from that was basically all you um however <clears throat> the direction of the series because of because of how nuanced it was and because of how technical it got it really needed to be thought about we had to really strip it back and go right look if we want this to be successful it has to be thought through because if we do get fans of Obviously, we were thinking big. We were thinking this could be really successful, and to be honest, it could have. Yeah. Um, if we if we'd marketed it right, but anyway, um, because of how technical it was, we knew that if we did get fans behind it, they would rip it apart if the storyline didn't make sense because of the fact that we were using time travel in the um in the series. Um, so there was a lot of whiteboard work going. This is what you need to remember this doesn't make sense. The continuity of this doesn't make sense. Introducing this character doesn't make sense. Doing this with this character doesn't make sense. Um, yeah. There was, there was a lot of back and forth. Even on me, there was stuff that even I contributed that was like, that doesn't work. And it was like, why? It was like, this, this, this. And it's like, yeah, okay, great. Um, I don't know. I think, I, yeah, I am incredibly stubborn. <laughs> I always have been. Um, I mean, it's a solid story with 
I mean, we didn't really work on a fourth season, but we have a solid concept for that too, you know. So yeah, it, it kind of came from scene. Well, it's a very, uh, it's very uh, solid show because we work, we were working like one year alone only on getting every plot point right, you know, logically and stuff with the time travel. Well, it was it was weird though, wasn't it? Because we we I think. Before the two years, we pl- we planted a load of seeds. There was a lot of things where we were like, right, that's what we're going to do. That's the basis. That's the foundation. That's what we want the story to be about. And it was like, okay, cool. And then it was like, okay, now we've gone two years later. Let's revisit all of this stuff. And we did. We'd learned a lot more by that time as well. Even yeah. M's behavior and characteristics changed. He went from being very wild and playful to very serious and very somewhat arrogant and uh, totar- totalitarian in nature. Um, it he still had his fun love inside, but it was diminished, com- like in comparison to what he was like before the two year gap. Yeah, uh, as soon as you were working with him, this fun loving side kind of disappeared. You know, so was, I wouldn't even say that for me. I mean, maybe maybe he was a bit different with you, but with me, um, bear in mind I'd seen him all the, like basically all the way through high school. Um, it went from being he was always fun loving, probably about ninety percent and ten percent was serious. And then he went to like eighty percent serious, twenty percent fun loving. And that wasn't just it wasn't like when we were outside and not doing work, he was fun loving, and then as soon as we got into work, he was fully serious. He was quite serious and but it wasn't just a serious like there's there's a nice serious to people where you can tell they're chilled and they're quite serious about things, they don't really joke around, but they're not a dick about it. Where yeah. He started to get this kind of temperament of being a dick and kind of being extremely condescending with certain things. And it was a bit like, look, you know, I understand that you're the director on this. You're calling the shots. However, there's a level of kind of diplomacy and decorum that is required, especially when you're speaking to your friends. Like, we're not just random people. Bear in mind, he hadn't he hadn't even spoken about paying us at that point. This yeah. was volunteering our own time towards a project that he was uh governing let's say and i considered him more as a friend you know even more than than a friend so yeah it was a completely different relationship between me and him so yeah exactly it it, you know i I, I don't i I won't go into because we saw each other's family you know yeah Exactly. I won't go into your relationship thing because I, I can't speak on that because I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, but you were definitely friends, and the way oh, yeah. he was doing stuff was not that great, you know, because we were, he was also not that much available at it some point. It wasn't just that. When he was available, it was very much crap the whip, micromanaging. Have you done this? Has this been done? Has this been done? And it was like, dude, you haven't been here for, say, like a couple of months. And we've all got together on one day and we're sharing with you what we've done and you're yeah. ripping everything apart. And it's like, yeah. no, this works. Why don't you like it? What's wrong with it? And there was no answer. There was no kind of... A director needs to say, this is what the issue is, change this. There was none of that. It's just, I don't like it. But like, why? Because I just, I just don't like it. Because he didn't do it, you know, so... Yeah, it's like you've had no creative input on this. Like me and you created... I'd, I'd say three seasons and a ghost season. Uh, the fourth season of Ghost Season because we didn't really fill it out. We just had a plan for what we were going to do with it. Um, yeah. Hence why I'm calling it a Ghost Season. Um, but we, we mean you had done that. And don't get me wrong, he'd been involved for parts and probably the foundational stages. But when we got into the meaty stuff, the really technical stuff, writing it down, we, we had um, documents upon documents of world building, character building, plot lines, um motifs um timelines because the timeline got very confusing uh, yeah lists of what each character could do what the temperaments were yeah we had an absolute I just remember i had also this heated argument with him because he had created this uh character sheets or whatever and they were like star signs and blood type and i didn't really understand yeah. why oh. that would matter you know Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm just thinking, what the point goes. I just want it really detailed. I want it detailed. And it's like, that's literally, it literally makes no difference on the story yeah. 
whatsoever. But me and you, me and you had had arguments with him multiple times saying, like, what are you doing? I mean, I think it got to the point, to be honest, where um, because I'm quite out, outspoken, I'm, I'm very to the point blunt, I'll say what needs to be said. And if I think something's wrong, I'll say it. Um, and I, I don't do it necessarily in an, in an arsehole way, even though sometimes it can come across like that. Um, but me and you agreed quite a lot. We, I think me and you agreed more than we disagreed. Um, and a lot of it was to do with creative direction from... Yeah, I mean, we only disagreed because I was, like, very fantastical and stuff like that, and you were more grounded. Yeah. So we always had to kind of find a middle between yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, we spoke about that at the time as well, and I remember, I remember the conversation... Um, and being like, yeah, okay, great. Because I remember you, you you did come and speak to me, and you said that you felt like a lot of the creative things that were being put in were more on my side than they were on yours. And I was like, well, yeah, I guess I guess they are. But at the same time, I can't, I don't work if I don't have someone to bounce ideas off. Which is why you were brilliant because it was like, what about this? What about this? And there was a lot of kind of devil's advocate playing, like, yes, but what about this or what about that? And if I was alone. Or if I was just doing it with M, I don't think those kind of inquisitive questions, um, the knowledge behind what you know, I don't think that would have come out and kind of appeased what I was doing. Because, yeah. I mean, a lot of what I was doing was very much like, okay, here's an idea. Let's go, let's run to this point, to point B. Let's run to point C. Let's run to point D. And I think. The, the kind of blessing of having someone like you in the team was very much like, okay, but why? In <laughs> in retrospect, I gotta say I did more than I, than I was willing to admit back then. Yeah, Be because when I think now, I I've brought up like the uh, the characters not only being uh like related but also parallel versions of each other, mm -hmm. which was like fucking brilliant, if I might yeah. say, and. Yeah. Not not something we thought about earlier, but because I was so and still am fascinated with weird family dynamics, I was like, yeah, that's fucking brilliant. So we could agree on that, you know, and then and got from that point to like talking about, okay, how we do we go from here? But something like a star sign or blood type, if it's not shown in a show, you know, if it doesn't come up, it's not important, and those things usually don't come up, you know. Yeah, like, no one is going to give a shit what star sign or blood type the main character is. I mean, in a, in a doctor's show, you know, in a medical drama, sure, it does come up which blood type the person has. Yeah, but that's, like, it's like usually it's not a main character. Yeah. Usually that's, like, in, a, in, in like, a doctor medical program. It's, like, a patient that's coming for that episode. It's like it's not a it's not a character that stays all the way through where it's like you need to know the doctor's blood type. It's like no, it's, that's it's never going to happen. It's but he wanted uh, that f to explain why characters have certain personality traits, and it, that it, that were the weird parts, you know. And I was it, like, I didn't get it. Yeah, How is that related? It, it that's very, just fucking stupid. It got very stupid. It got very stupid. But, I mean, the, the, the longer we went on, the more we went on, I feel like the more stupid it got. Like, me and you seemed to kind of grow in our creative talents. We yeah. We had a point of, like, really, really rinsing through um, all of the plot holes and going, no, that doesn't make sense. No, this doesn't make sense. How can we, how can we say this happened if that happened? Oh, no, but we really like this plot line. How can we make it work? Or we're going to have to throw out this plot line because it doesn't work. Yeah, there's there's a lot of kind of cutting and stitching and a lot of work. A lot a lot of work went into it. Yeah, be, because this was supposed to be the flagship of his production company. You know. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. It was. But uh, we we also mentioned like financing. How are we going to do this? Because I had no money. Mm -hmm. M surely didn't have any money. And the only one who was kind of getting money were you because you were starting to work. Starting to like, I'd, I'd already been in, a, in in my job for probably about seven months when we when we got uh, started again, and that's why I said I said, look, I'm not going to be as available as 
as I used to be based on the fact now that I, that I work, you know, beforehand we were in college and we had a load of free time. It's just, it's just not as free anymore. He wasn't working. He was still, he was either at his grandma's or at his uh, mum's house. I can't remember. Was um, at that point still in college because he had like an extension. Yeah, but that was, that was when we first started the project. I'm talking two years after. Oh yeah. Because he, he, he left and that's when he was doing the work with the filming. He was still doing kind of gigs, you know, but not enough to support that kind of project. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is as well, was it wasn't... And I was in Germany, so it was even harder for me to finance anything for that project. The finances were low. Finances wasn't what we needed. We yeah. needed direction. That's what we needed. Um, but like... we also brought, brought up the point of setting up a Kickstarter or Patreon, you know, yeah but, but, and searching yeah. for other people for the team but no. he didn't want to do that because others would have been uh surely asking for pay unlike us idiots yeah so no, what we did though eventually we did say look if this becomes successful we won't pay and that's when the kind of rights came into it and we were like okay well who's got what rights over what um and yeah. we all agreed and said this is what we this is what we want um otherwise i'm not giving you permission to use it um, and there was some very hard negotiations. Um, well, at least on my side, there wasn't on yours. You, you you didn't really fight back as much as I thought you were going to, to be honest. Because I remember be, be, the- because I from the moment on, I wanted to be like a background player and not that yeah. much in the front. So I was just like I didn't really give a shit, you know, about all the uh, legal stuff and. And so on. I just wanted to be creative, you know, and have something out in this world yeah. that I influenced, that I worked on, you know. So I'm still like that, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, bear in mind, at this point there now, whilst we were doing this project, I was writing my book at the same time. Um, so I was working, I was writing my own book. I was helping you on some projects, although my, uh, M did more of the work on that. Than yeah. Laptop his name <laughs> um, i i worked i worked uh on on my other show you know because at that point i know my influence on tempest flux and stuff like that wasn't big so i started using my frustration and my depression for another show yeah that was supposed to be like a second show for his production company you know and I I remember I gave you it sometimes to look after it, but I eventually I can't work on it anymore because I'm not in that mindset. But back then I was really in a stark mindset, so it worked, you know. Yeah, I mean that's what I mean. So like you you gave me access to be able to edit some of the posts that you put on. I I didn't do a lot on it. Um, no, I did I did little bits um, because I I. Lot really lost my uh, energy for it, um, with just being dragged along on this ride that was supposed to be. Oh look, we're a bunch of lads having fun creating a TV series, um, and that just isn't what happened. It, it, yeah. it just went extremely off what was supposed to happen. We had arguments. We the team broke down. Obviously, it was a little bit harder because you'd moved back to uh, Germany at that point. Um, it was a team member even left, even though he didn't really well that's too a, much for the project. But still, problem. we got an addition, and then he left again that's because a, we kicked him to the turf. So well, well, kind of. There's a bit more of a story to that, there isn't there? So obviously, he was he was with us probably about a two two months after we'd started the project. And he said, oh, I'm going to bring uh, Ellen. And then we were like, right, okay, cool. Um, Get him in. He comes into it. And to be fair, he did have some good ideas at the start. He, he, he did. Yeah. Um, and there were some foundational things that were like, oh, yeah, no, that's that, that works. That's great. And I, I had previously worked with him before, again, because he went to my high school. So it was like, okay, well, I know I know he can do good things. But he was just lazy. He wouldn't turn up on time. He wouldn't even turn up to the meeting. Um, And it was like, look, I'm not being funny, but if you want part of this project and you want to reap the benefits of it, you're going to have to turn up. Um, And, you know, meetings got postponed because M wouldn't allow us to do any work without him turning up. Um, Yeah. To be there. And it was like, look, we're better off just working. 
without him um, because we're not getting anything done here. And that was a lot of the wasted time that started a lot of the tension from the first wave of meetings and um, setting things up. And then eventually me and you had conversations between ourselves saying, as much as we like him, we need to kick him out of the group. He, he's not He's not working. He's not doing anything. And he, if he did, he'd be brilliant because he was. But he wasn't doing anything. So it was like, well, I'm sorry, but we can't continue to waste our time and volunteer our time for a project that isn't going anywhere because you won't yeah. kick a member of the team out. That needs because to- we had to explain everything again. all over again every session, you know. To, yeah, every, uh, to him because he yeah. wasn't there. Yeah, we we. Docu- he didn't care, you know. So yeah, yeah, we document it all and we go, look, no, we're quite serious about this. We want to, we want to keep moving a bit. And I don't know whether it wasn't that he kept, he didn't keep it, he, he wasn't serious about it, or whether he didn't really like the idea of it, or he was actually just genuinely busy. No idea. But his meetings were set up, and he said he agreed to meet on those days, and then never did. So it's like, well, look, you can't keep fucking people about if you, you either turn up or you don't and if you're not going to turn up then just say that you're not going to be available on that day don't like tell us you're going to be available make us all meet up and then turns out actually you're not going to be there it's an absolute waste of everyone's time especially when i started working that way as well so yeah yeah so he did get kicked out eventually um he didn't really add much to the group um, and then none of us really spoke spoke to him i'd i'd spoke to him a few times just to catch up with him to see how he was getting on good i didn't dislike him I just didn't like uh, me name. either, but I personally didn't know him. You no, know? so yeah, true, true. true. I just, I it just... was just I knew him through. Full... This has been an absolute joy, kind of, and a ride through memories, okay. and I didn't expect to remember because my memory is akin to Swiss cheese. <laughs> uh yeah, and I hope that you enjoyed your time and yeah. hopefully the viewers. And if this works, then we're going to do a second episode and a third episode and a few other guests. I have already some ideas who I could invite. Maybe they're open to it uh, for future episodes of this new podcast. Yeah, so fair enough. We can wrap it up now. <laughs>